Hi Leo and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. This is for June 17th through June 23rd, 2019. I'm going to start your reading off by pulling a chakra dice, Leo, and see which chakra is most affected this week. Oh, okay. So you guys are coming through as the solar plexus chakra. Leo, this is an energy of empowerment, confidence, asserting oneself, um, manifesting. It's the yang energy, um, the masculine energy. All right. So let's see how this is coming through. All right, so you guys have a five that rolled, and that is going to be the throat chakra. So Gemini had the exact same dice combo, exact same, all right? Um, there's seven dice in my bag and six possible different rolls. So if you have any Gemini, strong Gemini in your uh, natal chart, Leo, I would highly recommend checking out Gemini's reading as well, just because you guys have the same exact chakra combination coming out. So Leo, let me tell you, this week is a week of expression. And straight up, out of five readings, you are my fifth right now, it's all about expression this week. I don't know what's going on um, with the stars, but there's some energy that's aligning where it's all about communication. And I know that, um, I think for Virgo, I think Venus just moved into Gemini. So that could have a lot to do. If she hasn't, she's about to. So that could have a lot to do with this expression because I'm seeing a lot of it coming from the heart space as well. So Leo, listen, this week, you guys are not exempt from this. It's all about communication, whether verbal or written. But for you guys, you're coming from a place of power. You have the upper hand. Your words have a lot of power and influence. Okay. Um, also, any sort of like present presentation, speech, lecture, interview, audition that you have this week, feel very confident in, and empowered within yourself, and you will nail it. Okay. Um, there's just this vibe about you this week. Um, you have the upper hand, Leo. So let's pull an uh, oracle card here to see overall energy to go with this chakra pairing. Okay, ooh, nice, Leo. Spirit messages. Whew. Observe limitations. All right, this, wow, very powerful. Leo, your intuition this week, very strong and Sometimes, and this is true for me, spirit is always speaking to us, okay? And we are constantly deciphering that energy because it's energy message, really. And you guys, um, I man, spirit is so guiding you this week, whether you are aware of it or not. Like, for real, Leo, spirit is coming in. And this spirit messages, those of you who are spiritually gifted oh my gosh, you're like going to be activated. You're going to be receiving like channeled information. Your consciousness is having this huge expansion. Um, those of you who have been like in some sort of mediumship program, working towards really strengthening that skill within you. Oh my gosh, Leo, this week, it's just like finally that barrier could just lift right off of you and you are have a clear connection. Any of you who have been feeling kind of foggy in your thoughts, um, it, that's all changing this week. It's like you're very empowered. You know what you want. If you've been in any sort of indecision, again, you know what you want. It, it's like you are on point across the board, Leo. And um, Spirit's really guiding you. And with observed limitations, don't try to push through a barrier that you cannot break through, okay? It's not to say that that's like always gonna be there, but if it's present this week, Spirit's saying just let it be what it is because I feel, I swear, Leo, it's something about um, the way you express yourself or the way you share a written message. That's what moves that barrier or opens up a new opportunity for you, okay? Your words have a lot of weight this week and um, a far reach. So just like with Gemini, if you are a person of influence um, where you have a platform where people listen to you speak on any subject, you 
whatever it is that you put out to the universe that you share with all of humanity make sure that you are a hundred percent on point um, that you're not like you mean what you say you say what you mean you have facts you have great presentation you're very professional you're very tactful you're very uh, PC in your expression okay for those of you who are in front of some kind of audience whether it's in the workspace in the staff meeting or it's a much bigger platform like you know say on YouTube okay just really be cautious of how you express yourself and what you say and be honest all the way across the board because Leo your honesty and your word man it's like moves mountains for you this week whatever you have to say it's like golden and um, for some of you it's almost like maybe somebody's been waiting to receive a message from you or receive a response from you and it, again you hold the power in that Leo very interesting. Let's pull some dice. Also, um, with this, you may have some conversations this week that are long overdue. Okay, yeah, look at that. High Priestess, that's your intuition. Um, you being divinely led, um, those of you spiritually gifted, I just kind of feel you're going to that next level this week. But look at this, the Four of Pentacles. This is that barrier I'm seeing for some of you. And now we have the world, which is always a positive sign. And lastly, the Two of Pentacles. And that's that indecision I was picking up on for some of you at the start of the read. Okay, so listen, Leo. Your soul knows the way. Spirit is so speaking to you. And with spirit messages, you see feathers, you see pennies, you see butterflies, whatever your symbol is with spirit. If you're seeing that saturate your reality this week, that's your confirmation that spirit is guiding you, whether you're consciously aware of it or not. It's just really contingent upon where you're at on your spiritual journey. And those of you who are, you know, very spiritually opened and awakened, you're very aware of the way spirit guides you know those of you who aren't so much interested in that path and that journey and that's perfectly fine it doesn't exempt you from spirit like being in your life and guiding you and loving you as much as spirit loves everybody it's just whether you are aware of spirit or not it's it's irrelevant spirit is always there always guiding you you have a whole team of spirit guides that are invested in you and your experience in this world do you see that? Oh, God, what a good reading for you guys. Um, also, some of you, this is passed on loved ones coming through, trying to help you through uh, indecision or there's like some sort of obstacle that you're facing, okay? Pay attention to repeating things in your reality, numbers, um, symbols, images, songs, because at first it might not mean a whole lot, right? But as you observe and pay attention and just go with the experience, it's all going to start connecting. And I see that here with the world card, the completion, all right, um, where it just all finally makes sense. Um, and then again, those of you that are in any form of indecision, you've got to go with your soul, regardless of what your mind's saying, what is your heart and soul telling you to do? That's your answer. That gets you to the completion. That breaks you through that barrier that may be holding you back, okay? Um, now, others of you, this communication, um, yeah, with the world card here, uh, yeah, some of you are highly influential people. And I feel like with this Four of, of Pentacles and this Two of Pentacles, there's something that you really want to express or talk about. Um, but you've been very hesitant for whatever reason, okay? And with this, um, you being very empowered with speech or, you know, written expression this week, Leo, um, go with what your, your soul is saying. Is it time to talk about this subject or to share this information? If you really feel it is, then do it. If it's just like one blockade after the next, after the next, after the next, that's spirit trying to prevent you and protect you from sharing this information if it is not the right time, okay? So really pay attention to how reality is responding to you. Where do you feel like you have that green light go? And where do you feel like you're being blocked? Because where you have the green light go, 
that's your path, Leo, where you're being blocked. It's like spirits like that's not the way or don't share that information just yet. Doesn't mean you won't ultimately, Leo, but it's like where is the path of least resistance? That's where you should go. That's where your decision should be. Now, um, for others of you, this feels like a conversation between another person, whether in the workplace or, you know, something closer to your heart. It feels very workplace with the pinnacles out there. Um, this is where you don't hold back. You've got to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but. And if you've been trying to talk to somebody and they're just not available or they're pushing you off, blowing you off, don't waste your time. It's like that conversation. It's not the right time for it to happen yet. Um, also, on the flip side of that, Leo, somebody could really want to have a conversation with you and tell you a lot of things. And they're, I just feel like there's hesitation. Like, do I say this? Do I say that? Do I hold this back? And um, just, you know, let spirit direct. And I'm telling you, you guys will have a great conversation. Whatever needs to be said is said. But Leo, this week is all about expression of some kind. That's the highlight. And it's highly significant. And you seem to have the upper hand. And you just need to be very honest, truthful in all you say. Um, but have confidence in it as well, regardless of how anybody may be reacting as long as you know you're coming from a good place and speaking truth that's all that matters okay so let's pull some tarot on the high priestess we have the eight of pentacles Again, this feels very strong workplace. Also, with that, Leo, some of you could really be deciding to become like some sort of spiritually based business or practice. And um, with that said, if we've been blocked up to this point, this pairing is spirit saying, listen, there's a bit more to learn. Um, you've got a bit more growing to do before you're ready to step fully into that role. And this could be spiritually based or even your own like full time business. If that's something you've been reaching for, this is spirit saying, listen, that is definitely your destiny. But we've got to there's more to learn. There's more to understand. You're still growing a bit. Page of Swords, um, this is that expression. And Leo, with this, um, the Page of Swords, he can be either way. He can be very honest, very straightforward, not emotion. This is somebody who is like fact, 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 fact. Um, or this can be somebody who is just a jerk, like a nitpicky, petty jerk coming at you. And um, I don't really feel like it's... The, the petty jerk so much um, based on everything else you know this is general so some of you could be experiencing that if that's the case Leo coming out on top of the four of pentacles that's spirit saying don't even give that energy the time of day just ignore it you have the upper hand you don't need to lower yourself this will just spirit will take care of your light work okay you don't need to worry about it don't lower yourself um but for others of you, this right here is a communication that I feel is overdue or has been blocked. Um, this could be a conversation between a friend, a coworker, a lover, a family member, etc. Okay, it's like finally we're going to have this conversation because we've both grown and learned quite a bit from the last time we spoke, regardless of how things ended. This could be an apology even for somebody being incredibly selfish and short-sighted about some things that have happened and now they've come into this realization of that and they want to extend the apology, Leo, either to you or you may have come into that relationship about something and you want to extend that apology nonetheless this is all about communication um, that is to me been really just cards held close to our chest and now let's reveal it's time to end this beef if that's you know what's going on yeah six of wands sitting on top of the world it's time to end this it's time to bring things out to the spotlight to the forefront man and those of you who are already kind of like an influencer this week whatever you say whatever you're putting out to the world at large like it's you're really gonna shine in it everything you say and do is really being noticed somehow some way and and um, that's why it's incredibly important 
for you to be on point this week is because those of you who are in the spotlight, the public eye, or, you know, in a company, you're high up, some sort of management, a lot of people look to you, just be on your toes this week, okay? Spirit's really guiding you as to what to do because, like, whatever you say and do is very impactful to other people um, and to yourself and your reputation. I just feel really, though, Leo, like you're shining. Some of you might finally catch a break this week um, with the Six of Wands pairing up with the World card there. And lastly, yes, look at that, the Magician. You guys have some magic on your side this week, Leo. Um, some of you who are like just trying to get your name out there, this really could be the week where it just like you blow up. It, it just like things happen for you, okay? Um, again, there is a sense of barrier. Um, so either that's finally dissipating this week or if you are experiencing that barrier, again, go with the path that has the most flow and that's going to be the one that brings you the victory, the attention, the spotlight that you seek um, because there's some magic here. Uh, and those of you who have really kind of been in the struggle on the fence of something, like I said, this week, spirit is so up in your world, like you're just going to know what you want and it's not going to be an issue anymore, okay? So those are your messages for this week, Leo. I'm wishing you all the very best. Take care.